Hi you guys, my name is Tamika, this is my channel Tamika Uploaded, and today I am going to do my March wrap up. Hi you guys, I'm so glad to speak to y'all. I actually recorded this video and I was in the middle of recording it and for whatever reason my data got corrupt and I'm just chunking it and so I'm starting over so I apologize if any of this feels rushed. Please bear with me. I did read 13 books and so my original video was long so I am going to try to wrap this one up much faster. <laughs> First book that I read was Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I really wanted to read this whole series this month but I didn't. I just read this one and I think the reason why is because it felt so predictable because I've seen the movie a dozen times. Like I've seen all the movies a dozen times. I love them so much. However, when reading the book, I was like, oh, the good thing to say this book that made me give it the four out of five stars I did give it was Alice. We never really got the background of Alice in the movies. And this one tells you in the first book. And I was blown away by how that was intertwined with the plot. And I just really feel as though they should have put that in the movie, but they didn't. But, you know, whatever. I understand the reason why this book is so many people's favorite book. It is very interesting. It's very intriguing. And, you know, Bella, she is funny and she's spunky and I like that about her. So I gave this four out of five stars. Will I continue on with the series? I will. But I'm going to read them over time as I forget the plot and things like that. So they can be more of a surprise than for it to be so predictable. The next book that I read was actually a companion novel. And I don't read companion novels. I don't know if you know that. I don't really care for them. I feel like they're the filler episodes of the literacy community. Like I just, I just feel like they're kind of a waste of time. You, if you're in love with the series that much, I can understand the reason why you want to read them. But for me, I'm like, I'll just wait for the real novel to come out. But with Ferris, it is its own entity. It is lovely. I loved it. <laughs> I have a new spec for Levana. I think she's still crazy. But it was so interesting being in the head of a crazy person. Like, I need to read more books like that. But it was just absolutely captivating. Levana was interesting. And I really urge you to read Ferris. It is its own monster beast. It could be a movie. I loved it so much. I gave it five out of five stars and let me know if you read it down below. The next book that I read was part of the Dorothy Must Die series. It was book two, Wicked Will Rise. I loved it. I did give it a five out of five stars, more so because I love the progression. I love a book that when we're in a series, it's, it's different, okay? We have the same characters or whatever, but they're going through something different. We're, we're going through a whole beast that we did not see in the first book. Amy's character has woo, jumped light years ahead of where she was um, living in that trailer park. Let me tell you, if any of you watch Bleach, and I don't want to make a whole bunch of anime <laughs> comparisons, but the cool thing about Ichigo is because he always was turning into something. We're always excited about what was he going to turn into and to see his different formations and things like that. And in this character, Amy does that. So if you're a big anime fan, if you like Bleach specifically or Naruto, I think that you will definitely like this Dorothy Must Die series and you'll definitely enjoy Wicked because it gets really weird really quickly. So is she a demon now? Like it was just so strange but it was so well written so captivating so i do urge you to please check that out i told you i love the first book i love the second book the next book that i read was a manga and it was judges and this is the story of a young man who wakes up in a room with some kind of animal head and the moment that he's about to remove the head these people rush in also with animal heads and they're telling him don't do it don't do it and he looks over and he sees a guy who clearly has removed his animal head and he's dead discussing this and just imagine saw <laughs> the movie saw the premise of these people being abducted and 
trying to get out of it. That's exactly what this is. A very interesting premise is similar to Saw. All these people have been abducted and they're all wearing different kinds of animal heads and they all represent a different kind of deadly sin. You know, gluttony, vanity, wrath, so on and so forth. And I really enjoy stories surrounding around this subject. I always find it very intriguing how they do it. Everyone does it differently. So I did give this one three out of five stars because the beginning was absolutely slow. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like very yada, 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 which is something I don't like. And to be a manga, I prefer that it hits me at least within the first couple of pages because it is so short. Now, I will be continuing on with the series because, like I said, the premise is very interesting. And now we're kind of at the meat of the story. They kind of got the back stuff out of the way. And now we're going to, like, learn about the people and learn who's going to die and who's not going to die. Because the whole point is to judge who should live and who shouldn't live. So I'm looking forward to continuing on with that. If you have read that, let me know if it picks up. I really want to know. The next book that I read was, you all know, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. It is one of my absolute favorite books of the year, hands down, okay? And I do have a review down below. You guys, I hope you've read it by now. If you've not read it, I urge you to go out and just buy the book. I promise promise you you will not regret it especially if you love contemporary you love good writing you love to be in someone's head and you just love something that's gritty and real that is what aerosol and dante is all about and that's why i love it so much of course i gave it five out of five stars the next couple of books that i've read were all a part of the Slay That series readathon and so all of y'all really know what I read so I'll briefly go over them one more time. I read the last two books in Legend which was Prodigy then Champion. I gave Prodigy 5 out of 5 stars and I gave Champion 4 out of 5 stars. Champion didn't give me that bite that Prodigy did but I did highly enjoy it. And then I started a series from beginning to the end, the Serenian Legacy series. I love them so much, especially the first two. The first two, I gave them five out of five stars. I gave the last book, which I <laughs> coincidentally do not own, which is of Neptune, three out of five stars. Now, the reason for that is that, like I said, I really feel as though this could have been a duology all by itself. It is a put together story just like this, and I loved it. But there, the epilogue of Neptune is so intriguing. If you have just slapped this on the end <laughs> of Triton, I really believe that that's all you really needed. I felt though of Neptune was more of a companion novel. You don't really have to read that to be into the story. The next book that I read was a graphic novel and my friend Cherie, hey girl, <laughs> she said, girl, you have to read this. I think you'll totally enjoy it. I think you'll appreciate it. And it was Why the Last Man. I was asking people if they read it and stuff like that. A lot of people said that they have. So I read it and I loved it. If you don't know, this is the premise of a world without men. One day, all these men are throwing up, vomiting. <laughs> and they're all dead. They're just dead like that. Then one guy, one guy who's, you know, incognito as he's traveling to go find his mother is the only man and they finally found where he is he gets to his mother who actually happens to work in the government and they're like we need you to repopulate the earth i understand you got a girlfriend you want to find her that's great and all but we need your seat men and populate the earth and he's like mom i'll repopulate the earth when i get with my girlfriend we'll do all that <laughs> however now we have this group of women who are anti-men i just thought it was a little bit ridiculous that they're anti-men being that the men are dead, I mean, as far as they know, all men are dead, so why even be like this? Like, I don't understand. These women are on him, okay? And one of these women is his sister, but she doesn't know it's him. So it is so interesting to see what's gonna happen when she finds out it is her brother she's hunting down and is supposed to kill. I look absolutely forward to volume two. I'm hoping I can find it. It was not in my local library like the first one was. So fingers crossed I'm able to find it and then I can let y'all know how it progressed. The second to last book was Dream Thieves. Second book in the Raven Boy cycle. 
this one was way better than the first one. I don't know if you remember, but I was nah, 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 about the first one. Like, it was very slow. There was that magical realism that, you know, was very captivating, but it wasn't what sold the story. It was really the lives of these boys in blue. Like, that's what sold the story. However, in the second book, what sells the story is the magical realism. Going in and out of the dream world. I'm a huge fan of dreams. I love to sleep and I love to dreams and I love being aware of that I am dreaming and being able to manipulate that world. So I look forward to it if I'm actually able to read something like that. And it's amazing. I my favorite horror movies are Freddy Krieger and this reminded me so much of Dream Warriors or actually really any Freddy Krueger movie being able to just you know, just like, I'm gonna fall asleep. And when they fall asleep, it's like they fall right through the bed and they're in the dream world. And it's just like, it's exactly like that. And, oh, Ronan is my boat. I appreciate what Maggie's doing with his character. I'm starting to realize I like characters like this. Like, I don't know what it is. I gave that five out of five stars. And now I am hyped and I'm looking for to continuing on with the series and people who did not like the Raven Boys because I know Leah you did not like the Raven Boys <laughs> so I think you're gonna like drink these so just try to get through it girl try to get through it the last book that I read for the month was another manga and it was volume five of Demon Love Spell and this was their best volume yet I love that the editor or the writer should I say was talking about how she didn't know that it was gonna get this many volumes and she's so grateful and I think felt her appreciation because she wrote just such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful volume. They actually progress in the relationship. Each chapter is combined with the next chapter. In the first couple of volumes, every chapter is its own individual story, which was okay, you know what I'm saying, but it didn't take it to the next level that volume five have, which is a progressive story. We're actually seeing character development now. People are growing, people are learning, and I love that. So I do urge you, again, if you're not reading Demon Love Spell, to go and check it out and tell me what you think. Now, this is all that I read <laughs> for the month of March, 13 books. This is a new record for me, and I thank you guys for pushing me and urging me um, to read all these books. And... Thank you, Leah, for reading um, Aristotle and Dante Discover Secrets of the Universe with me. I would have never read that unless she said, hey, girl, let's do a buddy read. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to April. I have some very interesting reads, and I will tell you all about that later because I don't know which ones I'm going to read or not read. I don't want to get your hopes up. But anyway, as always, I love y'all. Rock on, read on. See you in the next video.